everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really fun video for you. A few weeks ago I asked what video you guys would like to see. I gave you the choice between a baby name video and a natural beauty product video. Most of you guys said a baby name video so that's what I'm going to give you guys today. Let's go ahead and get into these baby names. Now most of the time you see a top 10 list. Well I could not choose just 10 so mine is a top 12 list and I have top 12 boys and top 12 girls. Because I do have so many names, I'm not gonna go over the meanings of them. I'm just gonna let you guys know what names I like. They are in no particular order. Here are my top 12 boys and top 12 girl names. So the first boy name I have for you is August. My husband really likes this name. I really like this name. I think we both first heard it from the name or from the movie August Rush, but we just really, really liked it. My husband was born in August, so that's also kind of um, a cool thing, but we really like the name August for a boy. The first name for girls is Amelia. I really just like the kind of vintage sound it has, and I like the association with Amelia Earhart. When I was little, I thought I was going to be a pilot. I loved Amelia Earhart. Um, just her kind of story just kind of fascinated me when I was younger. And so I just, I really like that name. The second boy's name I have for you is, it's a two, it's two different names. It is Caspian. And then the, na the nickname that I have for it is Casper. So I really, really love the name Casper. I think this is probably my top boy's name right now. I just love the name Casper. I really, really love it, and I want to, want to, want to use it so bad. But I'm not sure if we had a boy, if we would name him just straight Casper. I was thinking of using the name Caspian as a name, and then a nickname of Casper. But my husband doesn't really like to use nicknames. That's just not, he likes to use a person's full name. So his name is Robert and he doesn't go by Rob or Robbie or Bob or Bob, anything like that. He goes by Robert and he just likes using full names. I just love the name Casper. It makes me happy when I hear it. Um, my only worry is the association obviously with Casper the ghost, but I don't know. I feel like it's kind of popular over in Europe. I'm not sure, but um, I, I like the name, so I'm gonna use it. The second girl's name I have is Cecilia. I really, really like this name. I think it sounds very soft and feminine and also that vintage kind of a flair to it. Um, you will notice that I really like vintage sounding names for girls. I just think that they're very feminine and I just really love them. So I love the name Cecilia. The third boy's name I have for you, I got from a TV show and that is where a lot of my inspiration comes from with videos, or with videos, with names is either TV shows or movies. But this name is Crosby. If you guys watch Parenthood, you know that's a character on the show. And I just really, really like it. I never thought it, like I, when I first heard it, I think I thought that's not really usable, but there is a little boy that goes to the daycare that I work at um, and his mom works there too. And his name is Crosby and he is just the sweetest, cutest little boy. And so I was like, you know what, it is usable. I think it's a really cute name, Crosby. The third girl's name I have for you is Darcy. I just really like this name. I think it's so cute. It's also a little bit spunky, actually, I think. As most of you probably know, the name Darcy comes from a story by Jane Austen, and it is Mr. Darcy, so it's someone's last name. And I just, I really like it. I like it as a first name for a girl. I just think it's really cute. The fourth name I have for you for boys is Dean. I really like the name Dean, um, of course, Jane Dean, but also Dean from Gilmore Girls. I just think it's very short. It is super cute. I think of a very handsome man whenever I to hear the name Dean, and I just really like it. The fourth name I have for girls is Eloise. I love this name. When I first met Robert, 
and we were talking about names and I told him Eloise, he was like, uh, that's like an old lady name, but I love it. I think those like old lady names are totally coming back and a lot of them are being used, but I haven't really heard Eloise yet for a girl. I've heard um, like Eleanor, I've heard a lot of Eleanors, but I haven't heard of Eloise, so I really, really like that name. The fifth name I have for boys is Elia. I really, really like this name because I like the name Eli. It's a little bit too popular. I tend to not really like the super popular names, so I think Elia is definitely um, a good way to get that Eli name with a less popular name. So, Elia, I really, really like it. The fifth name I have for a girl is actually more used as a boy name, but I love it for a little girl, and that is Elliot. I really, really like this name. It's very new to my top list because I first started thinking about it as a name when the new Pete's Dragon came out. Um, I used to watch that movie all the time when I was little, the original Pete's Dragon, and just hearing the little boy say Elliot, it's just, I really, really liked it. And then I was thinking, you know, I like it, but for a boy, I know a few Elliot's for a boy, but I haven't really heard it for a girl. And I think it's really, really cute for a girl. Plus, if you wanted to, you could use the nickname Ellie. You could totally use the name Elliot um, for an Ellie. I think it's really, really cute. The sixth name I have for you for boys is Ezekiel. Now this is another name that I kind of got from Parenthood because the grandfather is Zeke and I really like that as a nickname, but um, I wouldn't use that as a boy's first name, so I thought the full name is Ezekiel and I just really like it. It's a biblical name and it sounds really cool. I like the Z sound in it. The sixth name I have for girls is Evangeline. I like the name Evangeline, it sounds very feminine. The seventh name I have for you guys, my husband really doesn't, um, he's not super fond of this name, but I absolutely love it, and that is Israel. I've known a few Israels, and I just, they're all really great people, and I just really like the name Israel. So the seventh girl name I have for you is Fiona. There was actually a little girl at the church that I grew up in. Her name was Fiona. When I first heard it, I was like, eh, I don't really like it. And plus there's that association with Shrek, but I have really grown to like that name Fiona. I think it's really cute. The eighth name I have for you guys is Jackson. Oh, Jackson. Okay, I just really like this name, but it is just too popular. There are too many Jacksons but I just really like it. I think it's such a cute name for a boy. Anytime I have a Jackson in my class at daycare, I just immediately like have a connection with him. I just love that name. I love saying it. It is just so cute. But yeah, I would never be able to use it because it's just way too popular. Um, and plus my husband thinks it would be weird because we do YouTube and there's Ellie and Jared and their son's name is Jackson. And then House of Hunts, they also have a little boy named Jackson. I don't know, but I like the name Jackson. The eighth name I have for little girls is a name that I heard on a TV show, of course. I loved it as soon as I heard it, and that is Freya. I just think it is so cute. I really like the spelling, F-R-E-J-A. I just really, really like it. I like the name Freya. I think it sounds, um, kind of like a little mysterious to me and also kind of old fashioned. So I just, I really, really like that name. The ninth name I have for you for boys is Jonah. I really like that this is a biblical name, but it's also not used too often. It's a very simple name from the Bible that it's very easy to say, but I haven't seen very many Jonahs. And I just really, really like the name Jonah. The ninth name I have for you for girls is Jane. I really like the name Jane. I love the simplicity of it. I'm not sure that I would use it for a first name just because it is very simple and um, I kind of like a little bit different names. 
but I would definitely consider using it as a middle name, but I love the name Jane. The tenth name I have for you for boys is Killian. This is a name that I heard from a TV show, of course. It is the name of the pirate, um, Captain Hook, on the show Once Upon a Time. And I just really, really like it. I actually had a friend who just adopted a little boy and from, I think he's from Indonesia, and they named him Killian. And I really, really like it. I don't really think Robert likes it too much, but I love it. I think it's adorable. The 10th name I have for you for girls is Laurel. My aunt's best friend, her daughter's name is Laurel. I just really like it. I think it's really pretty. It's also a tree, the Laurel tree. It's a really cute name. And plus the girl um, that I know whose name is Laurel, she is just an amazing person. She is just so sweet, so smart, so kind. And so I have a really good association with it. And you don't hear it very often. I think she's the only person I've ever met whose name is Laurel. The 10th name I have for little boys, and this is another one that I cannot use, unfortunately, because I really, really like it, is Oliver. It's another YouTuber's son's name. Um, Daily Bumps, they have a little son, Oliver. They call him Ollie, but his name is Oliver. I just love this name. I think it is so cute. And plus, another reason why my husband doesn't like it is because he thinks of Oliver Twist, which I don't see anything wrong with that. But <laughs> I just really like the name Oliver, but unfortunately, we won't be able to use it, or we won't be using it. Um, but I just think it is such a cute name. The 11th name I have for girls is Lorelei. And of course, it's another name from Gilmore Girls because I love the Gilmore Girls, but I really like the name Lorelei. I think it is so feminine and it is probably my top girl's name. I just think it's so sweet. I just love it. I love the way it sounds. I love the way it looks when it's written. And the last name I have for you guys for boys is a little bit different. Um, from all the other names that I have on my list, but it is Theodore. I think it is so cute. Theodore, as for a little boy, is just so cute. You could call him Teddy, and it's just such a cute name. I'm not sure that I would ever use it though, because every time I think of Theodore, I think of the chipmunks. And I just don't know how I feel about that, but I just really think it's a cute name. I can like picture a little Theodore running around. Theodore, stop doing that. I don't know. I just think it's such a cute name. And the last name I have for you guys for girls is Lucille. I like the name Lucille. I think it's really cute. And of course, Lucy from I Love Lucy is Lucille Ball. And we just really love the name Lucille. When we were first talking about baby names, Lucille was our top pick um, because my husband has Lucille in his, Lucille is a family name for him and I was going to use the name Lucille and then my grandmother's, for the middle name spot, I was going to use my grandmother's name which, which is Zenaida, so it would be Lucille Zenaida, uh, but we're not too sure about it. Um, I have another name that I really, really like. A little bit better than that one, but it's definitely still, still a possibility. That is all the names I have for you guys today. I hope you like them. Definitely leave a comment below which one's your favorite from the boy names and which one's your favorite from the girls. Or if you have favorites that I didn't mention, definitely leave them in the comments below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time.